and make sure you subscribe to his YouTube channel. <laughs> Fuck you mean. Fuck you mean. What's up, nerds? It's your boy Cortez back out again with another calming, motivational video. First and foremost, I got one of the nastiest TV dinners ever. This is supposed to be lamb and rice. This shit tastes like cat food and lice. Like, I don't know what I'm eating, but it's covered in sauce. And I'm gonna eat it because it was free, okay? Today's video is the top five ways to deal with anxiety and depression. Now, for those who don't know, I recently lost my mom. Um, and I also recently lost custody of all of my siblings. So I live in ATL by myself. Um, and that's being being transparent and honest with you guys. That's why my videos be coming out so slow. That's why I'll start something and don't finish. That's why I'll be, you know, crying a lot and just trying to find myself. And then I gotta tell myself I'm young, I'm 24 years old. And although I may not feel like I'm able to accomplish things or although I may feel like I don't have it all, that doesn't mean that I'm not going to be able to receive or that don't mean it's not capable. So top five things that I do to get through my depression and my anxiety. Let's get into it. Number one, I like to do things for nice people. So I find myself waking up sometimes and I, I don't, I be feeling very plain. Um, on the outside looking in, some may say I'm blessed, some may say you should be happy, some may say you have a lot of things to smile about, and you guys are absolutely right. And But when I'm dealing with my depression and my anxiety, I don't feel anything. I feel like I'm owed everything and I don't feel anything at all. So what I typically like to do is give back because I that helps me be reminded of what it is that I got, what it is that I'm going for and they just the importance of being appreciative, you know, so give back. So I would say if you're, if you're dealing with anxiety and depression, it can be really hard for somebody to get you out of that, but try doing something nice for somebody else. So go feed the homeless. We didn't have much to eat, you know what I'm saying? So like we had to make do with what we got. Go, um... Watch a motivational movie. You all look like you have your knickers in a bunch. What the fuck? What are you talking about? Yo, yo, I heard it. What she said? What? 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 What did you just damn say? Maybe she'd have called her a bunch of knickers. Go watch. Oh, shut up. I'm doing a video. Okay, I'll pick you up. Hold on. Come. Go watch a motivational video. Um, go and do something nice for somebody because although you're feeling down and out, you still have the power to put a smile on somebody else's face. And although you're having a hard time smiling, that can reverse that. It can make you feel like you're wanted. You know, sometimes I feel like I'm not wanted and appreciated, and it takes for me to go do something for somebody else. You know, and and that that warms my heart and it makes me feel good. So that's just number one. Go do something nice for somebody. Go hold the door for somebody. Go feed the homeless. Go and feed the birds. Go and rescue a cat. Go and do something calming. You look really funny. Yeah, you just look weird. Like, oddly enough, look weird too. But I feel like when people see you, they they want, like, nobody's going to adopt you. You just look like you should be in my arms. Okay. <laughs> you look like a cat. How are you a dog, but you look like a pig, but you a cat? Okay. Just chill. All right. Okay, the second thing that I would recommend you do when you're dealing with anxiety and depression is write. Um, I do a lot of daily journal entries, and I don't write about my problems. I write about what it is that I want to accomplish. I, I write about things that I want to see others, the things that I want, whether it's materialistic, whether it's a dream, whether it's a vision board. Go and write. Dear Santa, you are a bitch nigga. Wait, wait, wait. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Write down all the steps it takes to accomplish that. Write down things you want to see yourself doing five years from now. Write down things that make, you know, that's going to make you money. Write down things that make you smile. Write, 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 write. Because for me, I wake up with anxiety and depression and I be feeling very disoriented, unorganized, discombobulated, confused. I be asking myself, why am I here? I be confused with what's my purpose for being here. And when I write it down, I have a better visual of uh, where I'm going in life, you know, how to, how to, I just can't take this video serious because of how you look, you know that, right? You just look like an albino squirrel. 
I feel like I adapted in an albino squirrel. Number three. <laughs> I'm sorry. You look like a squirrel. It's okay. I got you, baby. We all look weird together. It just makes sense. Like, when people see you, they're going to say, yep, that look like something the court is about. Number three. Guiding what you see. Um, this means social media, TV, and eating habits. Um, for me, I got a real terrible junk food habit. Um, I said happy. Habit. I eat a lot of candy, a lot of sweets. Um, but what calms me down is fruits, juices, and waters. You know, I used to typically, not used to, but dealing with my anxiety and depression, I found myself rushing to things that was not good for me because I felt like that's what made me happy. And it actually made me worse after the fact. So try to resort to indulging in things that make you happy and guiding what you see. Meaning your Instagram page. If you follow a bunch of negativity and you already waking up and you feel negative, unfollow that stuff. Veer away from that. So for me, I follow a bunch of motivational pages. I follow people that's doing what I'm doing. I follow things that I like, yes, but I more so follow things that I would like to be doing. That way I can guide what I see and it's going to help my aura and my energy stay in one place because it can be really hard for me to understand what it is that I want. Like, here's an example. Um, I I know that I want to be doing arenas and big shows. And I can't see how to get there if I'm following Instagram models and booty and twerking and food pages and skits and stuff, you know? So I have to make sure that I'm following people and pages that are going to help me achieve what it is that I want. That way, when I get lost in my phone, it's for something that's not distracting me altogether, but it's for something that's going to allow me to, you know, perk up. It's going to give me a sense of motivation and drive to be able to do what I want to do. My prayers have been answered. She better move because my prayers for get lack. Number four. Number four. The fourth thing I recommend somebody doing to deal with their anxiety and their depression is to move at your own pace. Girl, move at your own pace means a lot of the times you're gonna feel down and out. You're gonna feel plain, very vague. You're not gonna have any energy to do anything. So don't force yourself to get up out of bed when you know you're down and out. It is okay to lay in bed. It is okay to be down and out. It's okay to feel sad. It's okay to be bored. It's okay. You know, move at your own pace. When you feel like you want to get out of bed to go watch a movie, to go walk the dog, to go to the grocery store, do that. Because when you rush to do it, you don't feel a difference. And you just feel obligated. And you feel like it's mandatory. So what you want to do? Oh, 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 oh. And it doesn't help with your anxiety. It doesn't help with your depression. In fact, it also makes things worse. Things worse. So move at your own pace. And don't let nobody tell you that. That you're wrong for how you feel. You know, a lot of people um, skipped over what I was saying. And they wasn't realizing that I needed someone to talk to. And or that I needed somebody to um, just be by my side. I felt lonely at times. I still do. A lot. So, move at your own pace. I'm here to tell you right now. Not going to agree with you. We That's don't fine. care. Let me tell you. Right, let me tell you. <laughs> we don't care. Jerry. Understand that you're not wrong for how you feel. And when you wake up happy, you wake up happy. And when you wake up sad, you wake up sad. And it's all normal and it's all okay. The last and final thing I would tell you to do when it comes to anxiety and depression. Outside of happy animals, right? <laughs> Um, I'm not going to just say something like, go talk to a counselor. Yes, go talk to a counselor, but it, don't, it, didn't, it didn't help me. It didn't help me. Um, but I, what I would say is prayer. You know, prayer. If you're not a firm prayer, I'm, I'm not, I'm not a, a heavy prayer. I talk to myself a lot. But, um, but being able to breathe and meditation, reflect to your higher power and talk to yourself and speak out, speak out whatever it is. Understand that you don't always have to be talking to somebody to say, man, I'm so tired. You know what? I want more for myself. Huh, I'm bored. 
you know, I would say that too. Talk, you know, express yourself willingly. Don't hold it all in. I used to tell myself, you know, Tess, don't complain because whatever you're complaining about, somebody's going through a lot worse. Understand that your feelings matter. You matter. It's okay. Um, it's okay. Understand it's going to be okay. And the, and the bonus one, you're young. You're young. And I tell everybody that. Even, even I tell the older people that. Don't put so much pressure on yourself because you're not where you want to be at. Understand that you're going to get there and it's going to happen. It's going to happen faster by you putting in the work, though. It's going to happen faster by you writing down the steps it takes to get there. It's not going to happen overnight. I'm not where I want to be at, but I'm in a good spot compared to where most people are at. And I still look at people higher than me and say, man, I want that. Emotional damage! I wish I was him. And... I don't really think about what it is that they went through, going through, or how. Are you snowing while I'm snowing? Hey, I know my video is boring, but it is an important topic. You don't care? All right, he don't care. Well, I love you. If you haven't been told at all this year, today, tomorrow, I'm proud of you. Um, and understand you're not in the, you're not in that that. You're not in this battle alone. We all going through it sometimes. You know, um, society can put a, a damper on anything. Grieving can, can put a damper on anything. Failure can put a damper on anything. But understand it's gonna get okay. This is supposed to be like a food video, but this shit nasty hell. Like my dog, you want some? This shit, it look like I'm about to feed the dog cat food. There we go, I ate some of it. Ugh, ugh. Is that why you up here? Fake ass dog. Now, what planet is you from, bro? What the fuck? Hold that dog. Okay. Answer now. Be all I want to be. All I want to be. All I want to be. It just start for everyone to see. Make sure you subscribe to his YouTube channel. <laughs> Fuck you mean. Fuck you mean.